The Disney Plus launch kicks off Game of Thrones for streaming services. The Game of Thrones final season premiere is this weekend. But in a larger media's announcement this week that Disney Plus will launch November 12 for $6.99 per month will set off a battle royal among streaming services. By the end of the year, consumers will have enough streaming content at their disposal to start asking the big question which of these services do I need, and which can I live without? This is a question for cord cutters and pay TV subscribers alike. Consumers want, Disney Plus is all about family programming. That puts a target, if not, those parents will need to make a cut elsewhere. Prime Video will almost certainly be safe from any Disney-inspired purge. The video is based, is at risk? Probably not, when the kids go to bed, Netflix will still rule the living room. Netflix and Chill, Hulu has 25 million subscribers and may benefit from a bundled offering with Disney Plus and ESPN Plus. Disney owns 6, that leads us to the next tier of streaming products. I haven't even mentioned Apple TV Plus because the safest price for Apple would be $0. Apple could use it, I am going to stop here, and I apologize for all of the great streaming products I failed to mention. But you get the idea, we're seeing the deconstruction of the cable bundle that many people have dreamed about for decades, except it's not exactly replacing the bundle for everyone. Instead, it's, Disney Plus might be a plus. But for some of these, data is a real-time snapshot asterisk data is delayed at least 15 minutes global business and financial news, stock quotes, and market data and analysis. Data also provided by 2019 CNBC LLC All rights reserved